Hi there. I was asked to remake this sweet tea video so they could be uh, it could be seen in steps. So that's what I'm doing this morning. This here is an iced tea maker and it's from Mr. Coffee. And here is the picture right here. And on the picture there is lines. Now I usually make a three quart or just about a two quart three quart depending the ice and everything so what we're going to start with it says water right here three quarts okay so I'm going to put this right here underneath and we need to plug this iced tea maker in or we're not going to get too far this morning and got to have my tea this morning okay I have already measured out water in here to the three-quart line. So you're going to put the water in. Just like that. Okay. Now, I've taken some tea bags. And I buy the double tea bags. Right here. This is black tea. Here is three double tea bags. That'd be two for six tea bags if you don't buy the doubles okay or you can get your own fresh mint leaves from growing right here and this is a cup and what you do is you just put them like that and then you stick them in the basket and I just washed my basket last night. So hold on a second. Just got my basket out of the strainer here. As you can see, it's got some tea stains in it. And what you do is you put your liner right here in your tea. And if you're not using black tea, you'll just take it out and you'll put your mint in for your tea, like that. This here happens to be apple mint. So what I'll do is I'll make another part of this when I'm done. I'm gonna make sweet tea now. Put this liner back in. So you do either three double tea bags that look like this or you put six in. So you're going to do that. Then you're going to take the little basket. You're going to set it right inside, just like that. You'll put this little thing over. Okay, what you're going to do. Oops, hold on here. Got the horse before the cart. You're going to take this water and pour it in. just like that. Then you're going to set it back. Then you're going to put your cup of tea right in like that. Then you're going to plug it in and then right on the side you've got a button right down here that you push. And once I push that you'll see what the tea will start coming out right here and you'll start to see it coming out. <clears throat> What I do, if you like lemons, I add lemons to my tea. And I usually can get two lemons, two uses out of a lemon. So I just made um, a batch of tea last night. Oh, got some apple mint leaf here when I was dumping it. Um, so I'm just going to reuse these because I just made tea last night. It's gone already. And we're going to do that. <clears throat> and then I like to, you have to add ice cubes. I add about six cups to ice cubes, depending on your size of the ice cubes. And once the tea starts filtering in, I'll put the ice cubes in. You can put your sugar. I use about mm, a cup and 
two thirds, I guess. Use whatever sugar you like. If you're heavy on sugar, use more. If you're light on sugar, use, use more. It's however you like it is the key word. Then I'll get a spoon here so we can stir it up. Now, if you can see it coming down, it should be coming right down through here. And it's already making, already it's got the, can you see the tea already making, filtering down? So it gets a little bit more in there and I kind of just stir the sugar around a little. I'm going to get the ice cubes out. Here we go. And this morning I'm putting in a little, uh, about six cups. It says four cups, but I've got extra. Okay. Had taken them out of my ice maker and just sat them inside my refrigerator until I was ready. So I don't have to bore you all waiting on me. Get a spoon and break it up here just a tad. There we have it. I was just trying to get everything ready to video so you all didn't have to wait on me. I don't know how you guys are, but I don't like to wait. I like to have everything right in order when I'm making something. It's a whole lot easier. Okay, now I'll keep this out in case I want to add a little more ice or whatever. And so that's it. That's your sweet tea. It's filling up here. Yeah, well, yeah, it might take a minute or so. Um, like I said on my last video, how many of you all like uh, sweet tea? I really like it a lot. I like mine with lemon. I'm heavy on the sugar. I also like apple mint, um, orange mint, but apple mint probably is my second um, flavor that I like to use, and that's right here. And man, I'm smelling it, and it smells so good real good what i do is i um i grow a lot of apple mint i got a nice apple mint bed i'm not quite sure i think it's like a four by four i keep it contained and i just cut leaves and dry them either naturally or or in a dehydrator and i have um we have a nice apple mint tea for the winter uh the same thing as chocolate mint tea or orange mint tea or pineapple tea pineapple mint tea i really like mints a lot i grow quite a few um, we do have some four by four herb gardens we tried to contain certain things in doesn't always work but we try and then sometimes we just end up uh, taking it and transplanting it somewhere else here, the garden season, going to be a while. I think it was going to be like, well, if we get started the last week of May, the first week in June, we'll be lucky, depending if the weather warms up. We still got about a foot of snow in here, and we got a good, oh gosh, there's ice underneath the snow. So we probably have eight inches of good solid ground. Um... And this morning, it's freezing rain with a mix of snow. I don't know what they're calling for, if it's going to turn into snow, whatever. But later in the week, we're supposed to have higher temps, which that will help a lot. I do uh, need to start getting some seeds going. I'm a little slow. I think it's just because there's so much snow and we do buy a lot of plants outright because um, Mr. Ray works at a at a farm store, and we and they get a lot of uh, plants in. And sometimes it's easier in my later years to just buy the plants started 
and start a six cell packs or four inch than it is for me to sow the seeds in the ground. But I do sow a, a lot of seeds in the ground. Um, later this week, I'm going to be filming how much seeds I have. I have probably a half a tote of seeds. And I just pick and choose when I want each year. Um, Ray did bring me home some six packs to start planting in. And I have a basil that I need to transplant. And then I started some basil, I think, February 15th. So that's got to be transplanted into a cell pack. But just as we're chatting here, I'm just trying to make the time go by a little so you can see the tea. It's still going. And right now, I have probably almost two quarts of tea. And I'm going to add, it's still brewing. I'm going to add some more ice if I can get some more ice. We're kind of low on it. We'll see what happens here. Just love an ice maker. I don't know what I'd do without one. Sometimes uh, we can't keep enough ice ahead for me. Okay, let's see. How about another, another, oops, I can't see. Two cups here I'm going to put in. Get every bit we can here. Out. There. This is going to give me a good two quarts. And then after this, if you want and you're um, entertaining folks, you can just fill it up with ice and it will put it to the three quart mark. But this is usually what I go for is what's right here. This is how I make mine. It works for me. I like it. I've gone through, I think, this is my third iced tea maker. Um, I either burnt them out or I dropped them. As you can see, this one right here on the side, see how jet, whoops, I'm sorry. Just sputtered at me. How jagged it is, it's because it's got dropped. It's almost done brewing. When I lift this up, you can see the water is almost, see the water, how it spurts. Whoops. Close it or I'll be having hot water on me. Or maybe you couldn't see it. i having a hard time, oh, there. Having a hard time with my camera. But it spurts right out of this little white spout right here. There, see how it just let it burst out. Just gonna let it come back down gently. Some reason my tripod doesn't wanna stay tight this morning and I don't wanna force it. There, it just shut off. So I'm just gonna mix this around one more time. And the sugar is starting to dissolve already. And there you have some wonderful sweet tea right there. And I'll be having some in just a little bit with maybe a slice of toast with some homemade jam on it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to use any herbs that you may have out of your garden that you'd like to put in for tea because it's so good. I suggest you don't fill the, um, the liner any more than about halfway and that would be it because it's got to sit down inside this little basket right here. And once it's all done, this is what it looks like. Just brewed tea leaves. And I'll use that tea and spread it around on some soil for my plants. Okay, hope you like this video. Um, please give it thumbs up 
and I'd love it if you would subscribe because you never know what I'm going to have. Here you go. This, uh, this remake was for Iris. She's a dear friend of mine and she would like, she wanted to see the steps. So I hope you enjoyed it, Iris, and enjoy your raspberry tea. Thank you for stopping by. God bless.